A 19th century church is reopening its door soon, but not to pray. Yeah, this is a, a little different yeah. here. The old St. Michael's Church in Baltimore or is Baltimore's newest brewery, and it is set to open in the coming weeks here. WJZ is live tonight. Paul Gessler has a first inside look for us. Hey, Paul. Hey, Nicole. Hey, Rick. Yeah, breweries by nature can be a little over the top, a little eccentric. They're great gathering places, and this really checks all those boxes. It's very different. Here's the organ here. It's no longer functional, but like many elements, it's here because it has to stay historically preserved. St. Michael's here on the corner of Lombard and Wolf. Well, it's been abandoned since 2011, and that is until next month when they are planning for a revival. This day is years in the making. It's a dedication ceremony. St. Michael's rededicated. You know, There's going to be a lot of folks here. Refurbished. Beyond excited. Restored. A lot of people that come in here from the outside give us the comments that, hey, I was born here, I was baptized here, I went to school here. St. Michael's was built in 1857. It was owned and operated by the Redemptorist, an order of Catholic priests, and closed in 2011 when investors came in. What a shame to to leave it idle and continue to deteriorate. We view it as we're bringing it back to life and we're going to be respectful. Ministry of Brewing took two years to preserve parts of the church. Water damage is still visible upstairs. Anything existing here either had to stay or be restored. Including the fresco right there above the tanks, which was restored by hand. Ah, striking. Logistics wise, there are plenty of reasons why breweries are not in abandoned churches. We had to take this room and cut through uh, I think it was two or three feet worth of brick and stone. The receiving room used to be a sacristy. Not to mention, this wasn't your typical electrical or sprinkler installation. How many businesses have you opened in a church? <laughs> this is this is uh, this is the first one. This day is as much a celebration of the preservation than it is the opening of a business. Bless this community. Tuesday afternoon, VIPs see it for the first time. That's not about being disrespectful to religion. That's about saving a piece of history and, and creating that gathering space. Back live here now, and they've really gone through great pains to restore some of the elements of this church. All of the tables in here are reclaimed from the same wood that was under the altar, but now that they have the beer tanks up there, they cannot have the wood. And they do not just serve beer here. They have several sodas on tap as well. And right now they are aiming for a February 7th opening date, that first Friday in uh, February. So they're aiming for that pending some inspections uh, from the city. For now, reporting live from Upper, Upper Fells Point, I'm Paul Gessler for WJZ News at 7.